unlike the statues of Joseph Stalin or Saddam Hussein that were knocked down many years ago in Hungary and Iraq, the new targets uh, this time in the last year or two have been people who have been treated rather well by history, uh, depending upon who narrated that version of history. Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Robert Clive, Winston Churchill, Christopher Columbus, all of these have been treated quite nicely in history. So truth be told, Sharan, pulling down a statue is relatively easy. What is far more difficult is presenting a historical counter narrative to the one that has been force fed over generations. And I think right. in this context, William Dalrymple had something very interesting to say in one of his articles. He said in Britain, the study of the empire, the British empire is largely absent from the history curriculum. Now right. more than ever, we badly need to understand what is common knowledge elsewhere that for much of history, we were an aggressively racist and expansionist force responsible for violence, injustice, and war crimes on every continent. Tough words, very, very tough words. But I mean, this is precisely the point that you ask the average English student and they have not even been taught about what the English did uh, as part of their entire colonial past. Now, this is really where the challenge lies, not just in Britain, but in most nations.